Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, when do you go for an XPath expression? Let me answer. There are some situations where you have to go with XPath expression locator for locating the element on the web pages. Okay. What are those situations? In one situation where none of the other located types are able to locate the element. Okay. You cannot use ID, name, class name, link text to locate the elements on the web page, including CS selector, you are not able to use. Then the final savior is the XPath expression using which only you can locate the elements on the web page. Okay. The situation where other located types are not helping us in locating the elements on the web page. In that case, we can go with the XPath expression. Let me show you an example for that. I'll open this browser and take you to this uh, application URL, tutorialsinja.com slash demo application. And uh, let me go to the login page. And uh, let me click on this login button without entering any credentials. I, I got a warning message. Now I would like to locate this warning message. Okay, I selected this warning message and right click inspect. I'll get this HTML code. Now, if you clearly observe this HTML code, we cannot use any ID locator or name locator, even class locator we cannot use because there are multiple classes here. Okay, we cannot use class locator also. Okay, if there is single class in this uh, class attribute value, then we would like to, we, we would have used that class uh, as a class name as a locator. Okay. But here class locator is also not working. And uh, even this, uh, this is a new tag. It's not anchor tag. Okay. So we cannot use this as a link text locator. The final two options left out are CSS selectors and XPath expression for locating this particular warning message. The problem with the CSS selector is, uh, you know, I cannot even build a proper CSS selector by looking at it. Okay. It doesn't have unique attributes or something. So what I will do here is uh, I'll take the help of this parent uh, due tag somewhere here. We have a due tag with the help of this one. I would like to locate. So there is a concept known as XPath access in XPath expressions using which I can locate this due tag. Okay. In such kind of situations when none other located types are able to locate this element, we are going with XPath expression. Okay. Select this. Say control F. Copy this ID attribute value of some other tag which is nearby this uh, required due tag. Okay. Here write down double slash due. At the rate ID is equal to give the ID attribute value. It's locating this due tag. And un, uh, somewhere here, we have this, uh, you know, due tag. So I'll simply say slash, okay, slash, uh, under this due tag only, we have this. So we'll see child colon colon due of one. Okay. I'll use XPath access like this child due of uh, one. It's locating now, you see. Using the XPath expression, we are able to locate this warning message without any problem. Okay, so this is one case where we can use XPath expressions for locating the elements when no other element type or locator type is available for locating the element. The second situation where you have to use XPath expression is when the attributes of the element okay are dynamic. Okay, so I'll show you an example where the attribute of a particular element is dynamic. So I'll just open this in new tag, tab, and uh, I'll take you to the Facebook.com page. And uh, here you have the login button. You need to locate this login button. Right click, inspect this login button. When I inspected this login button, you got this HTML code. And in this HTML code, we have an ID. Okay, we have an ID. Just observe this ID u underscore 0 underscore 5 underscore 9a. Okay, this is a value u underscore 0 underscore 5 underscore 9a. So if I take this as an ID, if I take this as an ID, if I refresh again, the value is changing. You see? U underscore zero underscore five underscore M nine came this time. Last two letters are changing here. Again, refresh the value of this ID attribute is changing. Now JS came. Refresh again. Now HN came. That means this is not unique. This is dynamically changing. The value of this ID locator is dynamically changing. So can you use ID attribute value or ID locator for locating this button? No. In this case, we know that this part is constant, whereas this part is not constant. In this case, also we can use XPath expression like just copy this ID for now and say control F double slash button. I'll say contains at the rate ID in single quotes. I'll give the value and I'll remove the changing values. Okay, these two things I will change. Okay, remove the constant thing. I'll put it. So since this value of this ID attribute is dynamically changing. I only put the constant value, which is not changing in this ID attribute. Now, no matter what, how many times you refresh the page, this XPath expression is able to, will be able to locate the element using login button is getting located. Again, let me refresh. 
you see, still able to locate. So hope guys, you got the uh, answer for this question. When do you go for an X path expression? When there is no other locator for locating this element, okay, other than the X path expression, we go for the X path expression. Other, other situation where we go for the X path expression is when value of these attributes of that particular element are dynamically changing. In that case, we can use X path expression to resolve the problem. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.